Uh, abstract brainwaves, game genie in the beanie We ain't on the same stage, leveled up uh, The epitome of technique, can't survive in my current thought Other yellow hat guy here, back with another video And I'm back, it's been a little bit I was out on holiday, July 4th, Independence Day for us here in the United States And I'm going to pull up Pokemon Go real quick Because some stuff has changed in the game and it's worth talking about because here we are. Go Fest is not this weekend, but next weekend. And leading up into Go Fest, they've given you a lot of stuff. So as you can see, the game's already open. I've got two dots here on my screen. One for Tauros giving me some more uh, gifts. And then uh, an indicator for friends. Now let's talk about the friend thing first and foremost and get that out of the way. So when we go on my friends here, I've got one new request, but you can see there's an online thing here. How cool is that? So initially it was there, but what it did not show you was who was online, right? Now it shows you that. Not only that, some people were worried like, oh, well, I don't want people knowing I'm online. Well, you could opt out of that and thankfully... Uh, that's not something that people have to know. Now, when I click on myself here, now I'm offline and people won't know that I'm online and it has my friends filtered by numerical order because that's what I chose. Uh, online is grayed out because I said to turn myself offline. But here, I'm back online and there's a Niantic icon here in the top right. So when I click that, it's showing how many kilometers I walked, how active I've been, and it's showing other Niantic games that I may have a profile on, or not may, but do. Here you see uh, Harry Potter, Wizards Unite. Not quite that active in it. I'm not active in it at all. Ingress, uh, I haven't tried that, but there's a suggestion there. So there you go. You see I'm level 40, Poco. Hopefully with the rumors being what they are they become true and we can reach level 50 at some point so anyway you can see who's online i've got a couple friends who um, decided to opt into this online mode too and what it's going to do is allow you to send invites for raids to friends who choose to be online so i think that's a neat feature that they've got going on there shout out to niantic the other part that would be great is if I could send a message to them like let's raid or even if they're like you know because people are going to complain right initially if there's some kind of chat they might have simple messages that you can't customize like hey let's raid let's meet lobby 15 minutes or lobby or something like that where you could communicate to those of you in your small groups, I could see them doing something like that, though what people actually want is their own chat. So we've had some new Pokemon appear, like this Pikachu right here that I'm about to catch for you. It's a homage to, you know, the flying Pikachu from, you know, I want to say the anime or maybe it's one of the games. It's one of those two things. But um, it is there. <clears throat> Leading up to GoFest, we had all these little mini events. And uh, I can no longer show you them because I completed them. But what they entailed were, you know, like catching a certain amount of Pokemon, making a certain amount of great throws, things like that. You essentially do that. This Pikachu's not any good, so we're going to get rid of it. But you essentially do that and you're finished. The rewards were not great either. And uh, they actually gave you a GoFest skill challenge, which uh, in 10 hours, 19 minutes, it'll be over. So probably by the time this video is up, it's almost, if not already open. Peep this out at the bottom. Make 50 excellent throws. I know some of you were able to complete that. Your boy only has two. It's probably not going to happen. Maybe with the raid hour tonight for Kiram, the newest legendary, I can somehow make that happen. Okay? So, um... Uh, Still, 50? That's 10 per boss. That's got to be excellent. I don't know. I don't know. But here, the rewards. Just 500 XP? 5 berries? 500 Stardust? No, I'm not. I, I, I imagine giving, like, 
200 Pokeballs, Ultra Balls, Great Balls, a combination of those, just to get this? That doesn't seem fair at all. Now, I know it's just bragging rights. I know some people are complaining. Understand, you do not have to do that. It's just bragging rights. You clearly see you get nothing special from that. So let's jump right into it. Uh, let's claim what we have from the shop if I can. I imagine my bag is full, so we won't do that just yet. Um, so let's look at Pokemon. You've seen the Pikachu. I did get a lucky Kyurem. I am excited about that. He's an ice dragon. He's got one wing that's larger than the other. And he's got little T-Rex hands, so that's pretty neat, if not interesting. But I did get a lucky one that was pretty good. I'm happy with that. Three stars, perfect attack, and perfect HP. Uh, I can't max that one out yet because, well, I need more candy, but it's not worth it to me to use my rare candy because he can only do... This one can only do about... 3555 so not 4000 but you know still great um, you know I'm all about those that can go 4000 CP so here's Ducklet the new one that's out here right now I believe that's for the next generation of Pokemon and here's its evolution Swanna who's got a weird chest plate thing going on I was like is that a bathing suit what's going on with this Pokemon but uh, yeah I could not get too many good ones it is water and flying and it reminds me of a little bit just because of its typing. Just a little bit. Its typing is like that. I can't remember what it's called. But it's some kind of bird Pokemon. That can store fish in his mouth. In the new Sword and Shield games. And he spits it out and attacks you. Pretty neat. Zekrom is over. I did get a shiny Scyther that somebody traded me. So I'm very pleased with that. As well as a Sunkern. So uh, yeah. I'm just still doing the trading game. I'm still waiting on that. So speaking of balloons, because, you know, we were talking the Pikachu, Team Rocket is back. Now, uh, I'm not sure how much I want to talk about that in this video, but we'll just dust over it a little. We'll look into the news. Um, look up, trainers, as I ignore this alert here. Team Go Rocket balloons have arrived in Pokemon Go. Now... We talked that on online feature a little bit. I'm going to come back to what's in front of me. Initially, that was set up with the framework only, but now they have the feature there, which is really cool to show you, everybody. They did delay the inviting of raids, so maybe that'll happen in a couple of weeks. Who knows? So back to this. The balloons are there. All of this is foreshadowing the return of two characters, and we'll talk about them You've seen me talk about them already. When I say the return, I mean return to the video games. They're in the anime. I don't know why I'm teasing, but this could be that. All right? So, mysterious balloons have popped up in the sky, and the culprit is Team Go Rocket. With these Team Go Rocket balloon invasions, you can now battle Team Go Rocket anywhere on the map. We ask that you keep an eye out for balloons in the sky and battle Team Go Rocket grunts and leaders. Who knows? You may even find Giovanni. Wink, wink. So, there's the changes there. The battle Team Go Rocket's balloon division simply find a balloon... Oh, two battles, sorry. Simply find a balloon on the map and tap it. If you have a rocket radar or super rocket radar equipped, you can even battle a Team Go Rocket leader or Giovanni, respectively. Turns out Professor Willow and the team leaders were on to something when they discovered those scraps of paper. A Team Go Rocket flying across the world of Pokemon Go will need as many of you as possible to help defeat them. Keep an eye out for those Team Go Rocket balloons and continue to train. Hopefully this will be an extent of their mischief and they'll surrender now before we have to prepare for more fights. But just in case, we might have to revisit the original plan for GoFest Weekly Challenge, Battle Time Research. Stay tuned for more updates on what the time research will entail, as well as accompanying battle-themed event. Okay, so what, is really, what does that really mean? This is Niantic's way of saying, hey, due to the pandemic that they have no control over, we can just make these balloons appear randomly, and you can still take advantage of that wherever you are versus having to go to Pokestops. Because that was a big caveat there. You have the same grunts and everything out here but 
what is also the same is it's still Shadow Ante. No need to keep doing Shadow Ante and going through uh, all these grunts and maybe even paying for the radars when it's just going to be for the same Pokemon. So some of you might have two or three Shadow Antes by now. And I don't think you can trade the Shadow form, so... <sighs> you have that. And those are the strange scripts, or scraps, excuse me. And then we have Ghastly coming up Sunday, July 19th. So that'll be next weekend. I don't know why I thought that was sooner. So yeah, we've covered everything here. You can still see that GoFest is still available. The tickets are still there. Battle League was down, it's now back. Uh, my issue is I keep confusing when the date for GoFest is. I keep telling people it's next weekend, but would it be the same time as Community Day? No, I don't want to use this. Where is my ticket? So yeah, it's not next weekend. It's July 25th and 26th. So end of the month is when it is not next weekend. So if you're watching this and I told you otherwise, I was sadly mistaken. Um, it's the community day that's next weekend. And it's the weekend after that's going to be GoFest. I don't know why I thought those would be uh, switched, but it makes sense that they'd save GoFest uh, for the end. So, we're just looking up real quick. I do not see any balloons, unfortunately. But we've gone over that. We've gone over pretty much everything that I could think of in this video. We'll talk a little bit more about... There's an image that's out that showcases what's going to entail GoFest. So, uh, next video we'll talk about all that. I'll follow that up with a Community Day video and then a GoFest video. So thank you for being patient. Uh, I know I promised more Mario Maker. Still working on that. That is still coming. Uh, we are going to continue working on growing this channel and getting it where it needs to be. Thank you for your support. Wouldn't be here without all of your clicks, likes, shares, subscribes, uh, Patreon. You guys know who you are. Thank you so much. Uh, thank you for those who've also given gifts for the community so that I can give to honor those with the lowest CP shinies on these community days. That said, I'm going to stop rambling here. I'm going to see you guys in the next one. Captain Sensation!